loosening up the whole body, trying to get a nice full body twist, loosening up those arms. My pecs and shoulders are a little bit sore from Monday still. Mm -hmm. Monday, yeah, because today is Wednesday. I almost forgot what day of the week it was. So we're going to go about one more to each side. And then we'll get our shoulders moving. We'll do some shoulder circles, right? Mm -hmm. I can see people outside shoveling. I'm not going to do that. Heck no. That's not, I can't do that. And you've got to rest my body for Pilates, obviously. And then you're going to reverse, obviously. Yeah, I still got my left trap. Don't worry. And then we're going to have our arms come together and come apart. So every time those arms come apart, squeeze those shoulder blades. Right, try to keep those shoulders relaxed. Make sure you're not squeezing those shoulders to your ears. Right, and if you're squeezing those shoulder blades, your arms should be burning by this point. Burning arms, burn, burn, burn. So we're gonna do about two more here. And we're gonna loosen up those shoulders a little bit more. So you're gonna have your knees bent, hips are gonna be slightly back. You're just gonna do skier arms, right? How thin. Okay, so as you do the skier arms, it's not really forced, it's kind of just like a active range of motion. So they call this a dynamic warm up. Right? If you want to learn something new, look that up. Okay, and you're just kind of loosening up those arms, loosening up those shoulders. We're going to go about two more like this, and then you're going to go into your speed skater, right? So, side to side, I like to try to touch my opposite hand up to my opposite shoulder. I've got long arms, so if you're thinking, like, why are her arms going out of the picture? That's because my arms are long, right? Longer than my legs. My arms. Arm longer than my leg. Exactly, yeah. So you can go one more to each side. And then we're going to get our legs moving. You're going to just start with kind of a nice high knee march. High knee. High knee, right? So your goal is just to get your knee at least to your waistline, right? It doesn't have to be above your waistline. I don't know if you could. That'd be quite a march. That'd look funny. So we're going to go about one more to each side. And then you're going to do your butt kickers, right? So with those butt kickers, if you like moving your arms, go for it. You're just going side to side. Pump those arms, right? Keep on moving. Get your quads ready to roll today. We're going to get some full body. So we got to get it all ready to roll today. And then next week, that's when we start our holiday workouts. We got like the 12, 12 exercises of arms. 12 exercises of legs, 12 exercises of, I don't know, whatever I want. Got one more to each side. Then we're going to go into calf raises. So just both feet, you're going up on your tiptoes and back. All right? I like to have my hands by my hips, but whatever. Yeah. If you want to raise the roof still, you can. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get up as high as you can. If you feel like your ankles are a little wobbly and you wanted something to hold on to, all you do is you can. That's okay too. There's no big deal. Okay. We're going to go about five more like this. And then we're going to do a single leg calf. So two more. Okay. So now we're going to do the single leg calf. You're going to cross your left foot over to that right Achilles. And we're going up now on our right foot, right? So if you need a wall, look, I'm using a wall. You could. If single leg doesn't feel good to you, you put your left foot down on the ground and just focus on going up and down on that right toe like that, right? So we got five more here. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Then we're gonna switch. So left leg is down, right leg's cross over. Ooh, my balance is bad today because I'm barefoot, right? And I'm looking around. I need to find my focal point here. So just nice and controlled. We're going five more. There's one. Two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to do a standing mountain climber position. So you're going to have your opposite arm going up as your opposite knee, right? And you're going here. It looks like you're climbing up a wall, I don't know, or a mountain, because it's called a mountain climber. And go about 10 more seconds. Okay, it came back. Internet froze. Oof, I was close. I thought I was going to leave the class for a second. You got five.
Internet is frozen. There. Okay. Oh. We're tapping from side to side here. You got your knees bent. I think the internet's back. There we go. Yeah. We're going to progress through this move, right? And if I get cut off, you just might be doing this move for about five minutes. No big deal. Okay. So just tapping your toe, keeping those knees slightly bent. We're going to add to this as we go. Okay. So for this move, if you like where you're at, you don't have to add to it. But if you can, you will. So you'll turn it more into a speed skater. So you go to one side and then the other. One side and then the other. So it's not really necessarily a half, right? You can step wide and just shift your weight over, right? The wider you can go, the better, right? Because you're getting into your speed skater. Okay, and then if you wanted to go fast with it, then you could add a little bit of a hop to it and go side to side, right? So we're really trying to get that heart rate up before we get going, okay? We got 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You can relax. All right. So you're gonna grab two dumbbells. Okay. So yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna go lighter, just because it's got balance in it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna overdo it. So you're gonna have your left leg will be staying down. Okay, and we're gonna start. With your right foot, you're just gonna have your foot down on the ground. Okay, so you love that guess. Okay, so we're gonna add our right foot. You just have most of your weight focused in your left, and you're gonna. Okay, so you got just your right tiptoes down. That's it. Okay, so your right knee is bent, bent back, and you're gonna try to kick back. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is as you kick back, you're gonna kick your leg back, right? Tap, kick. Tap, kick, tap, kick, right? So nice and controlled. You're just tapping, kicking, tapping, kicking. Okay, nice controlled motions. We got five more. There's one, two, three, four. And on this next one, you're going to keep that foot back. You're going to pulse your weights up and down, right? So your left knee is big. You can have that right toe down if you can. Right legs up, and we're pulsing right here. Okay, either way, you got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And just like that, we're gonna switch. Same arm movement. So, right knee is bent, left toes are down. You're starting just with that kickback. So, just our kickback, our left toe is down. Okay. Getting balance. Now you're going to add that leg. You'll kick, bend, kick, bend, kick, bend. Nice and controlled. Make sure those shoulders are staying relaxed and you're breathing, of course. All right. Mm -hmm. Always. Okay, we got about five more until we pause. Here's one, two, three, four. Five, you can keep that leg back. We're pulsing those arms up. Okay, if you want that left leg up, perfect. Keep your right knee bent. Use that glute to your advantage. Okay, you got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And you're going to relax. Okay, so next move, you're going to have your knees bent. Okay, and you want your hips back. You're going to do a bicep curl in this position. Okay, so you're just going to be curling up and back, keeping your elbows by your side. You want to have your feet somewhat together. Okay, so we got our knees bent, hips back. And yes, we'll add to this, of course. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to curl. You go up on both tiptoes, your heels come down, arms come down. So you curl. Calf raise back down, right? Curl, calf raise back down. Nice and controlled. If the calf raise feels like too much, don't do it, right? If it hurts your knees to have them bent here, you can take it out, okay? Now we're gonna add to this in just a brief second. Okay, so now what you're gonna do, you're gonna curl, go into your calf raise, arms come up, arms come back, you relax down. 
Okay, so you curl on calf raise, arms are up, arms are back, you're down, right? So if you want to modify, you could always do one tiptoe at a time, okay? But you're going to curl, raise, back, down, right? And remember, you don't have to do that calf raise if it hurts. It's meant to mess with your balance, okay? And we got about five more here, and then we got our finale to this move, okay? Nice and controlled. All right, we're gonna do two more here. Oh yeah, two more. So on this next one, you're gonna stand your calf raise. You're gonna have a 90 degree angle with those elbows and you're gonna pulse up and down. Okay, so elbows are bent. It's not fast. Stay up on those calves if you can. Okay, keep that core tight. All right, we're almost there. We got 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And you're gonna relax. All right. So I'm gonna grab heavier dumbbells for this next move. Tap and then come back. Tap and then come back, right? Internet's really good today, isn't it? I know. So our right knee is bent. We're going to tap and come back. Okay, and we're going to add to this in just a second. Okay, so we got about five more. And then that's when our glutes are going to say goodbye. So on this next one, keep that leg back. You're going to shift part of your leg. We're going to do a hip hinge. You're going to come down and up. Right, so you're gonna deadlift, but you just have one leg forward. So on this, you should feel it through your right glute. Like, there's no spot, right? It's gonna be like, oh my gosh, this, this is just terrible. Okay, nice and controlled. Keep breathing. You got five more. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. There's four, here is five. Okay, so now we're gonna switch. Left leg is forward. We're just starting by tapping our right foot back and in, back, back, and in, back, and in, right? We're building the foundation of this move. So just nice and controlled, okay? All right, so now on this next one, we're gonna keep our right foot back, slightly shift that weight, and you're gonna hip hinge up and down right here, right? So as you do this, remember, we should be feeling it in that left glute, right? You'll feel it in your right leg a little bit, but your goal is to try to get your chest as close to your quad as you can, right? You're pressing your hips back, you're looking straight ahead. Here is five, okay? We're gonna relax and we're going down to the mat. To the mat. Okay. So for this first move, I believe we will only need one weight. Well, actually you'll need two weights, but you're gonna have one weight is gonna be underneath our right foot, right? We're gonna do some unstable bridges, okay? And then with our left arm, We'll have the weight. Okay, so right foot has the weight under it, left arm has the weight. Okay, that's simple enough, don't you think? So, what we're gonna do, you're gonna be gonna bridge this whole time. Okay, as you press up, your left leg is gonna come into tabletop and then back, right? So, it's like you can touch the floor all the way if you wanted, or you can just let it hover and come back. Okay, so left arm, left tabletop, you left. Ready and go. Okay, so as you press that legs in that tabletop and back down, right? So you could put your left foot all the way down if you wanted to, right? Or don't let that leg come all the way down and it's gonna challenge your right side a lot more. Okay, so just nice and controlled. Okay, keep on breathing. 
If the weight on your foot doesn't feel good, right? Take it away, I don't care, okay? Keep on breathing, we're almost there. Okay, so now you're gonna keep that left leg in tabletop, keep that left arm up. We're gonna pulse our hips up and down here, okay? So we're just holding our weight up nice and strong. You're pulsing that right foot up. So try to really drive that right heel down on that weight, wake up that hamstring. We're just pulsing up and back, up and back. It is so fun, isn't it? You know what does? Okay, keep on pressing. You got 10 seconds to go. I'm getting pretty sweaty today. We got five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Okay, so switch in that weight to your left foot. Right arm has that weight. Okay, so remember we're doing that tabletop and press. Okay, so starting that bridge, press, bring that right leg up, come back down. Pressing up and back. Pressing up and back. So that leg comes into tabletop, right, when you're pressing up. Right, and back, up, and back, right? And you don't even have to put your foot all the way down to the ground, right? We're almost there, we got five seconds and then we're gonna pulse, right? Okay, so on this next motion, you're gonna keep that leg in that tabletop, hold that arm up nice and tall and you're gonna pulse. So pressing up and down, right? Making sure you're not touching the floor, dragging that left foot through that weight. Okay, you're doing a great job. You got 15 seconds. Keep on pressing. Oof, this leg's getting tired. Just a little bit, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, now you're gonna be in the seated position. Oh, God. All right, so one dumbbell. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna start with kind of a sit and twist position, and then we're gonna add our legs to it. Okay, so if this position at your back, you can use a Pilates ball, right? And just plop it there if you want to, or you can go without. But you're gonna start tilting back. Your head will stay looking for it the whole time, right? I don't want you twisting all over. You're just gonna bring your weight down to the side and to the side. And we're gonna go nice and slow, right? If you want a lighter weight, of course, you can use a lighter weight. Okay, we're ready. And go for it. Okay, so we're just gonna go side to side, right? So remember, your torso is twisting, your head's not moving. I always try to touch the bottom of my dumbbell to each side, okay? So this is a progressive move. And that just means as we go, we'll get harder. But if you don't wanna progress with the move, you don't have to, right? If you have that ball, you're doing that exact same move. It just makes your back feel better, okay? Nice and controlled. And I'm not gonna use the ball. Okay, so what you're gonna do now, we're gonna add some bicycle legs to it. So you're gonna have your left leg out straight, make sure your heel is down. Your right knee is gonna be bent. You're gonna twist to the right side, and then you'll switch legs. So you're twisting to the bent knee, right? Or lowering that weight, you're going side to side, right? If you kick your leg out all over straight, it's a little bit harder. So if you needed to do kind of like semi-bent knees, that's okay too, but you're going side to side, right? Side to side. Nice and controlled, right? You don't want to go fast. It's like you're biking uphill. You're like, right? Use that exhale to help you move through each move, okay? Keep tapping that weight side to side. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Your quads should be burning. Mine are. I'm not above it, right? You got five, four, three, two, one, relax. Okay, so you're gonna have both dumbbells. And on this, you have two options. So you're gonna have dumbbell in each hand. You can have your legs out straight. Start with your weights by your chest. You would do a roll up, press up, come back and down. Okay, if you want to step it up a notch, your knees would be bent. You would do that same motion, right? If the roll-up is hard for you, you could either go for one weight, right? Or just do no weight and just focus on your arms moving on that same pattern, okay? Ready? And go, right? So we're going to roll, press, come back and down, right? Roll, press. 
press back down. So your goal is to try to keep those weights as close to your body when you roll up, right? If you wanna make it harder, remember those knees would be bent, right? Your goal is to try, and the key word is try, not to let your legs lift up off the floor, right? It takes lots of practice with this move, okay? Focusing on that posture, we got one more. Okay, so now we're gonna just do the same roll up. This time you're gonna roll up, punch, punch. Come back down, right? Roll up, punch, punch, back down. If you want those legs out straight, perfect. Okay, it doesn't matter. Whatever you like, okay? Even if you feel like, hey, I can't do the roll up, do these moves standing, right? You can do punches standing if your back's like, heck no. I cannot do a roll up. Well, don't do it, right? Nice and controlled. We got one more. Mm, that was fun, and you're gonna relax. All right, one more core move of the day. So you're gonna keep your right knee bent. Our left leg is gonna be out straight. We're gonna use our left arm to help us lift up. Our right arm is gonna punch across, right? We've done that before. So on this, you have the option. You can stick right here. If you wanna make it a little bit more fun today, that right leg will be in tabletop, right? And you would lift up and back. Okay, so use your left arm to help you lift up. If you don't want that right leg up, that's fine. Right, if you like to have your left hand behind your head, that's fine, I don't care. Okay, we're gonna go five more. Here's one, two, three, four, five. Luga. All right, other side, other side. So right leg's out, left arm has that weight. You can lift and punch. Right, you can have that right arm down, right arm can be behind your head. Okay, or that left leg's in tabletop, right, and you're getting after it. All right, we got five more. Here's one, two, three, four, and five. Good, relax. We might as well do one more move just for fun, right? Yeah, we should. That's my evil laugh. Okay. okay. So both dumbbells, we're gonna have both weights up. If you can, you're gonna have both legs up straight. Okay, if you need to modify, one foot is down. Okay, so what we're gonna start with is just alternating chest presses. That's it. Alternating chest presses, no big deal. Okay, so you can have one foot down if you want, or both legs up, and we're just gonna alternate. Okay, so we're gonna do another progressive move here. Doesn't that just make you sound sophisticated? I'm very, I'm a very progressive Pilates person. Yeah. That's just, I imagine you guys laughing out in pain is what that is. Okay, so we got one more to each arm, then you're gonna keep your arms up, and now you're gonna do flutter kicks with your legs. So you could do smaller kicks. Ooh, my legs are tired. Okay, or you can do large, large kicks. Okay, but make sure it's not just your ankles moving. You wanna point those toes so that your legs are actually moving with it, right? Ooh, my legs are, are just tight. What do we do today, right? What's wrong with us? So brace that core. If you're doing one leg at a time, you're gonna switch in five seconds. So switch legs if you're doing one leg at a time. If you're doing one leg at a time, you just have one foot down and you're lifting that leg up and down, right? Protect that back, do what you need to do because we are about to make this nasty, okay? So bring both legs up straight. So we are gonna do opposite arm and opposite leg. We're gonna start off slow, then go fast. So as your left arm comes down, your right leg will lower, right leg will come up, and they're gonna switch. So you always are moving, your arms and legs will never be in the same spot, right? And that doesn't mean your leg has to come all the way to the floor. Small mentions are perfect. Okay, we're going here. Okay, now as you get going, if you feel like you can go quicker, you might as well, right? Okay, if you were doing modified, you could switch legs, keep moving, keep breathing, keep punching, keep kicking, say goodbye to your abs, right? We got five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, and you can relax. And we're done. Whoa. If I can walk over to the computer. <laughs>